Often when working with drawings, what we might do is to create construction lines. And these construction lines will really just sort of help us to place objects and place elements within our scene that, I mean, maybe what we might be doing with a, a drawing board is we'd sort of be setting up a parallel rule and just making marks on, on the page. What we can do with this is we can actually, with the computer, we can put whole, whole lines in and we can then just delete them as and how we want. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, first of all, the trim tool. And to use the trim tool, I'll invoke it. And I then have to decide what objects I'm going to use to actually be our trim objects. Okay, so I'm going to be trimming um, this line and these two and these. And these are going to be my cutting objects. Okay. When I'm done and I've selected all my cutting objects, I'll right click. And you can see down at the bottom, we have to now select the objects that we want to trim or extend. Well, first of all, I want to trim this bit in the middle there. And then I want to trim off these two ends here and whoop, here. And I also want to trim off these lines here and here. OK, and I'm probably going to trim that and that as well. And what that's done is that's just shown that there's a little bit of detail in here uh, on this object. And of course, if I need to, what I'll do is I'll select those lines and I'll move them probably onto the visible layer. There we go. Now, hopefully that's moved them onto the visible layer. Oh, it should have done. Of course, it would help if the color is set by layer over there. So there we go. So that's moved them onto that layer. And now they're the same layer as the component that we needed. So that's all well and good. So that's trimming objects. Fairly straightforward. In its simplest essence, I've got a line there. I'll just draw a couple of lines here. And I've got one line there. And what I'm going to do is I'll say trim. That will be my cutting object. And that will be the side that I want to trim away. All very easy. Very, very simple. Very, very straightforward. Uh, extend. Actually, what I'll do with this, I'll show you. Extend is just as easy, in essence. What we're going to do is we're going to say extend. This will be my object to extend to, and that will be the object I'm going to extend. And you can see there that it comes up to the line as it should do. So to put that in a little bit more of a practical sense, such as the example that we saw here where we had all our cutting objects. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use the extend tool to finish off the geometry here. What I'll be doing is going to the extend tool and I'm going to select some of these lines here and it'll, be, it'll become apparent why in a moment and then I'm going to right click in the viewport here and I'm going to pick edge and then I'm going to say that I want to extend and what I'll now do is I'll now pick these lines and can you see they're extending off down in the correct way I'll extend that one as well. Press enter and that's just finished things off. So now I've actually created lines that were all parallel with each other and they match up correctly. What I need to do is to trim this section here. So I'll go to my trim tool and I'll show you a great shortcut. If once you've invoked the trim tool, you just press enter, everything becomes a cutting object and everything becomes an object to cut. Now, in this case, that's become quite comedy. So what I'm going to do is I'll uncheck those. I think, I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Uh, let's go to trim again, and I'll select that object and that object then. And then I'll right click, and then I'll kill off that and that. OK, well, that works a little bit better. Um, you can see that we've now finished that off. It's all nice and neat and tidy. And I'll take these objects and I'll delete them. Um, normally that pressing enter key works. I think in this instance uh, it didn't because we'd actually extended the line so it was getting a little bit confused with itself there. But in actual fact that does normally work. So that's trimming and extending.